Hey, what's up everyone? I'm uploading a video right now regarding the uh, the still shot. The still shot of Supernatural that when I panned up while recording the cat purring earlier, I happened to capture this uh, particular scene on Supernatural. I had it paused on Netflix and it looks like a face. As the, and that, that's what was chosen as the background for my relaxational cat purring video that I decided to make. And it's pretty creepy. It's Sam and Dean standing there, but yet, sideways, it looks like a face. And why that happened to me, well, I don't know. One of those things. So, uh, on to another topic. The uh, the Hindu people, the, the seem to be, they are so nice to me. And they'll just go out of their way, even ones that I don't even know, and they'll just pat me on the back and go, Hey, buddy. Hey, my friend. And they'll try to... It might be just anything from giving a random discount or just random giving that random things, just give, extending their kindness to me and just smiling and sen sensing my energy, seeing my energy and just seemingly being in awe over me, many of them. Very few of them are not that way with me. Or that one of them would run to me and suddenly burn this sage and then he would burn this um, incense and he would do a blessing and then put it over in a square like around my head and then... I didn't even know what he was doing, and one of them held the door open for me in the pouring rain, and just wanted me to, and and would tell other people wait for me to go first. And I said, but I said that's okay. They can no. He said you you were first, and I'm just like oh, okay, thank you. And my father was listening on the radio. My father was my daddy was listening on the radio, coast to coast radio show, and this uh, white guy who lived in India, he moved to India, and he moved there from America and lived there. And he stated that the people over there, he was listening to Coast to Coast Radio, their radio show online, from India. And he said their people over there are so spiritual and so spiritually advanced, they can sense your energy. And he said, you can, he stated on the radio, you can feel the energy around you, the real spiritual energy you can feel the love and the healing around you and he was talking about how much energy that you can feel around you and you feed off of that and they feed off of each other's energy and then he asked him whether they were all whether they were vegan or or vegetarian he said well basically there are groups of them that are and groups that aren't and there are different subsections and you know ideas and things different beliefs subcategories basically because even in ours, it claims, even in the believers in Jesus Christ, they, we say that I mean, we, we, you know, many of us eat, well, whatever we feel, but yet parts of the Bible state don't eat shellfish, but we tend to ignore that, and that's kind of a uh, slippery slope, a tricky topic, and uh, right there, because, and then the Jewish people won't eat pork, and all of these different individuals have different stories of creation now another thing is a, is regarding well there's stories about Inky and there's stories about the Anunnaki and there's things that have been destroyed the race of slaves, race of beings, race of people that were made for all, all kinds of things but God did it through the consciousness of these beings and things like that but all of that has been destroyed and forgotten but now I still believe in the Holy Trinity I think they believe in Kudalini. Now, Kudalini, I guess, is a force of three. I'm not sure for sure, but I'll get back to the topic of that in a moment. But he stated you can feel their spiritual energy, and they can feel yours. They can heal. They can do all kinds of things, and they, many of them are. But he said one thing they don't have in India is water. They said that's one thing they just, that Americans, he said they take for granted. Americans, it's sad. Now, let me tell you something. Well, I'll get back to the moment. I'll get back to that in a moment. But many of them have been so nice to me, they go out of their way. They just see something in me, and they, people have told me that I don't know what I am. I don't realize how powerful, I don't realize what I am, that I'm chosen, so I'm going to be used. Many different people have told me that, but different cultures have different stories. I was listening on a YouTube video also about how Adam and Eve, and then there's Cain and Abel, and Cain got, ba I think the, uh, Cain got banned outside the Garden of Eden too breed with the imperfect people, find a wife for the imperfect people outside the garden, and then 
those descendants are still alive today trying to bring back the reign of Satan, the devil, the dark one, the dark, the dark one. And, uh, I'm so connected to nature that I even, I even came very close to a deer earlier today. It was so sweet. <laughs> earlier tonight, they were just like right across the road from me. But anyway, back to the topic of what I was talking about my spiritually advanced connection now we're all sinners that's for sure without the uh, without the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ without that blood sacrifice God's sacrifice we're we we're uh, without that redemption we have no no redeem we have no we have no redemption without it but back to the topic of feeling spiritual energy now people have lost that a lot and I was in the store today and it just I got sick nauseated and dizzy and just distant and I try to be nice to everyone but Americans a lot of the Americans have become so stuck up conceited self-centered just as biblical prophecy states if you look in the book of Matthew it tells about how people will be lovers of self and just bloodthirsty and just conceited stuck up and disrespectful and everything it's all right there and we all have our sins, that's for sure. We all have our, we all fall short of the glory of God. That's that's without a doubt. But I mean, and we also all have our lapses in faith. Um, but the thing is, you you look into the way people are, and people could go all around. There's an entire area to go around, but they just looked at me and they were. I was like, oh, I'm sorry, excuse me, and they'll just look like, Ugh. and they'll put their hand, their head up high, take away that pedestal they're on take away that status and they're no different than anyone just like i told a girl in elementary school i said why do you why do you treat people be little people when you take away your money and your status and you're no different than they are i said you are just another individual the same as they are and she just asked me what my name was when i was in elementary school she said what's your name i've never heard anyone tell me the truth i've never heard anyone talk to me like that and i told her my name and she told me hers and Anyway, I've done that my entire life. Stood up to bullies and took care of business when it comes to people being bullying to another person. I've always hung with the outsiders when I was all throughout my entire school years to help the people in need. Um, but the people that walk by you there's just there's an energy that's changing first of all the people the masculinity is going too but the even the people who are straight but the people just look that's not the thing the people look at you like they think they're better than you are and they're not some of them some of them now it, today in particular it was just that way they'll hold their head up high and then they'll be like humph humph you know you know the old camel humph that story from the Between the Lions. They'll just put their head up high just like they think they're all that. And then they'll have a shirt on saying, I know I'm better than you, I'm smarter than you, or, or um, hashtag, I'm cute, I'm the cutest, and uh, you're ugly, I'm gorgeous. Sarcastic crap like that. Or, yeah, I'm right, you're wrong, get the F out of my face. Or stuff like that. Shirts like that. They shouldn't even sell shirts like that. That in and of itself should have never been started. It's bigoted. It's rude. It's hateful. Another thing is all the leggings. People wearing leggings as clothes. I mean, it's like distracting for crying out loud. They're not... But I'm not getting into that. But they're not everyday clothes for crying out loud. But they wear them. But uh, back to that. Back to the something else. People are just crazy rude. They think they're so beautiful. They think they're all that. They just think they're... When do people become so conceited? And it seems like lately the nicest the, the nicest people to me, the, the Hindus and other cultures, they've been so kind. While it seems like the people in America have become... The Americans are becoming too conceited, cocky, and stuck up, and um, better than thou... I don't want to say holier than thou, just better than better than everyone else. They think they're better than everyone else, and they it's just wrong. I mean, they just think that they're 
I don't know what they think. They've forgotten God, for one thing, but... And I'm not one to talk because we all fall short, but I just... It's just, they're so rude, obnoxious, hateful, careless. They don't care about people around them. The knowledge of the elders is gone. The knowledge of the past is gone. Nothing has been passed down. All they know is this stupid screen in front of them. And it's nauseating. And they walk by me, and some of them walk by me, the young people. Some of them are nice. Many of them try to be nice, but half of them, if that. But the rest of them, they just... They walk along, and then they wear these shirts that that the industry sells that says, says things just like, Yeah, I'm right. I know it. So, F off. Or, buzz off. Or, um... I forgot what this one person's shirt stated. I'm smart. You're stupid. We settled that. And, uh, or... It only seems that way because you're stupid. I mean, that's just rude. And if the past generations have no had known that that's the way things were going to get, they would not have... <laughs> you know exactly what I'm saying. They would have been like, what are we doing? They fought and died. People died so that we can have... So that we can be able to walk around. Even walk around. And people need to appreciate the past. But it seems like other cultures have been really, really nice to me and, and other people. But it's just uh, some half and half. It's half and half. But it seems like that many people can learn the respect that those people seem to show to me. And, uh, and to each other. Be kind. Be nice. Help each other out if you can. Peace. Signing out. Much love. That's been my message of the moment. I'm going to have to make a part two sometime. Signing out.